and we are back with another episode on El Sampler Pod. This is your boy JJ, and we got Javi right over here, man. It's a late night. We just did our fantasy draft. We hype. Yeah. I'm hype. My team looking good. His team looking good. Hey. I'm winning, though, but that's cool. Yeah, right, man. Right here, the undisputed champion is going to go back to back years. I'm just, it's not a prediction, it's a sport. But anyways, man, let's go ahead and do our Clash of the Titans. Wait, Clash of the Titans. Bro. Clash at the uh, Castle. <laughs> the aftermath. Yeah. We're going to talk today about pretty much all the results. I know I know, y'all seen all the videos and things like that. Y'all probably know what happens, but who gives a shit? You know why? Because we're more entertaining. We breathe from through our noses. We touch grass. We go outside and see the sun compared to most of everybody else that don't. We want to tell you what's going to happen in the future. Man. That's more important. Because, because you already you know, know what why? happened. You saw it. So. Uh, correct. Because you know why? Because our predictions are always right. Yeah. We, and we'll we prove it here. We told y'all. We, we told y'all. Even on Twitter, we told y'all Solo was coming out. And y'all didn't believe us. Well, guess what? He came out. We told y'all Bailey, Bailey in damage control was going to win. Which it takes us to the first spot. To the first topic. Yo, what are you doing, bro? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> We're going to take us to the first spot, man. Let's go ahead. First match. Bianca, Oscar, and Blitz versus Damage Control. Yeah. So, uh, first and foremost, it was... Uh, I don't know which if it was, was the worst match of the night or what, but it was like right up there. Uh, but honestly, what was the whole purpose of this match? Like, it almost seems like it was, it it, it looked like something that should have been in, in the pre-show because it yeah. really didn't go anywhere. Um, I, I really don't know what, what the purpose is of this whole damn thing. Maybe it's just to give him some practice because I know that um, uh, Bailey's been out for a bit. I know uh, Bliss has had some injuries and you have uh, Dakota Kai and, and Sky that haven't been used that much. So I guess they're kind of getting the rhythm back. But other than that, I have no idea if there is a real storyline reason for them to be there. The only thing to, that I can to have that match. No, that's true. The only thing that I can think of is that they're setting up the, the faction of damage control to make them look stronger. Because this is technically their first match as all three of them together. You know what I mean, and and having a having a name, a proper name, right? This is the first. Correct. Time. That's the first time that they the actually have the name. Yeah, compared yeah. to like it, every other time that they just announced them and things like that. But no, they called them specifically by that. I mean, like the match was not great. It has some moments. Um, it has some suspect moments. I feel like the one thing that I didn't like the most, uh, the spot that I didn't like the most, it was whenever um. Bailey was on the turnbuckle, and then uh, the EST, she was kind of, like, bent over between the turnbuckle, and then the uh, Asuka and Bliss, like, just wanted, just put their foot on her back just to do a <laughs> suplex, and I was it's like... like a step stool. <laughs> yeah, I was like, bro, you realize how bad that is for her? Don't get me wrong, like, I know she's strong as hell, but still, bro, like... Yeah, but come on now. Like, like yeah, bad. you don't like, have to, just... you don't have to do that. It would have been better if it would have been kind of like a pop, like a, like if the ESD would have pulled them or something like that, it would have been, it would have been better, but, like, it kind of seemed like, hey, uh, we're a tag team, and then we just have her, and she's you know what I mean? We're stepping over her, kind of. But I, I didn't like that personally. Um, but that, I guess that's just, that's just me. But yeah. See, I didn't like that suplex that they had, kind of in the same vein. Yeah. Where they're all standing, and then all of a sudden, they one comes after the other, then the other one joins in, then the other one joins in. Yes. Yeah, and, and then it's like, come on now, like that's just weak. It's like, kind of that was just yeah, so like the match was kind of sloppy, just because if it, it felt like Oscar and Bliss didn't belong there, but. I would say more Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai looked lost. Bliss I'm... Bliss looks like she has no energy at all. Asuka, she's just she's more of a singles than a than a tag team. I don't think she's yeah really yeah tag yeah. Team, I'm saying yep. So she's she's a great wrestler. I really like her because her stuff does look credible. Like she doesn't do a lot of these weird spots or anything. It's more hard hitting, striking, yep. like kind of Japanese strong style. 
but it works with her but as a tag team i don't know it's kind of it's kind of weak yeah um, yeah it was really uh bad. to me this was kind of like one of the low points from the match i mean from the night um it was not yeah. the lowest but it was one of them but uh what yeah. do you do you think that this is gonna take uh take it to the next level of either bianca having a few with bailey now down the road or yeah. do you, or oh, okay it's it's the only it's the only way uh, i think they're just getting be uh bailey ready for ready for bianca like okay. I was saying earlier, physically and mentally to kind of get her, because you know that Bianca is going to be a, a really very physical match, and it's going to be a big deal. Yeah. So she has to be up to snuff when it comes down to to that match, especially if it's going to be in one of the bigger pay per views. Yep. Uh, we need her to be at a hundred percent. I feel you. I feel you. Bianca. I feel you. And we need her to win too. Yeah. Bailey needs the gold. She's she's better with the gold on, bro. Like the what can I say? Yeah. All right, man. Moving on to one of the hardest hitting matches of, to be honest with me, to for me, for the year. I mean, to me for the year. Um, yeah. Sheamus versus Gunther. This match was, my God. At times, I felt bad for Sheamus, bro, and I don't like him. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. let's just throw that out there. We don't like Sheamus just because mm-hmm. of how reckless he is, yo. But he literally. Look like he, he was getting bullied like two out minutes there. in yeah two minutes bro in. like the whole match he was just getting <laughs> bullied and um bro his, his chest his chest bro i felt it every single like, right off the bat like even up here in the clavicle i was like yeah oh, god where the hell how what is he doing yo i took a so i took a picture while watching it and it's like yo yeah. he like he had that face of like in this moment he knew that he fucked up type thing bro yeah but you had a uh, fight with a bobcat and lost. That yo, that <laughs> the uh the one that I felt bad for the most, like the one move, it was that that clothesline. I mean, he took it like a champ, but I think he legit he legitimately mm-hmm. hurt mm-hmm. himself. Like he hurt his back. So I mean, we'll find out. But like, yeah, man, like that was a, hopefully not. Hopefully not. But the thing yeah. is, uh, because uh, and and then Sheamus is. Uh, what worries me more most about him is that he does have a bad neck like he has that same spinal stenosis thing that a stone cold edge and all these guys have had so that does kind of worry me a bit uh, yeah. that he has to retire because of a match like this but i can guarantee you, if he's gonna go out he's gonna go out like this yeah basically close in the to ring. his homeland in the ring, yep. in the ring. Yep. you know he gave it and, his he, all got, and he got a standing match. ovation afterwards you know what i mean which yeah, is great I, I, you know what i mean yeah honestly to to if if not the best Sheamus match I've ever seen, maybe at least top three. Easy. Yes. Yeah. Because uh, I and like you were saying, even though he got like his him, ass, I don't whooped. like him. Yeah. Even though he got they, his they, ass whooped. Well, they, yeah. they they both because uh, Sheamus did hit hit Gunther uh, quite a bit, but yeah. it, it still wasn't anywhere near where. Oh, and plus the fact Imperium going back together that was pretty damn cool. That was bro. That was uh, one of the highlights from that match, man. Bro, the visual, Seeing Imp- the Imperium, visual. yeah. It was great, the man, because in man. NXT UK, they control that. Like, everything yeah. ran through them. You know what I mean? They were kind of like pretty much the bloodline of the NXT UK. So, yeah, yeah I'm happy yeah. that they're maybe back. It was like a, maybe it was like a prototype to see if it would work over here. So, they were kind of testing it out over there. And then, yeah. Boom, let's do it over here. Yeah, yeah. So, it like, kind of worked. Um, okay, it worked great. I, I can't wait yeah. to see later on down the road, hopefully months from now, Imperium versus the bloodline. Yeah, that would that be great, be bro. That would be great. And then that's whenever you could have potentially the baby face turn for Roman Reigns. Yes. Prediction yeah, right yeah. now. It's not a prediction. It's a spoiler. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, like, like I said in the predictions episode, it's going to be Gunther against against Roman if The Rock doesn't come back. And if Cody Rose doesn't come back. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. So, um now now for I, gunther what do you think man where, where do you see him going because well, sheamus gunther, we already talked uh, about it so yeah well sheamus is a big question mark but uh but gunther mm, honestly I, I just see him steamrolling over everybody he has uh, for to. a little bit they're yeah. they're they're, they're going to be kind of like another another bloodline ish type of deal mm-hmm. uh, it wouldn't shock me if before they actually go against Roman or they actually get one of the Usos titles, which could happen. Like the tag uh, titles. Could, 
Yeah, the tag titles at least one set. It will like be one way. One. Yeah, it will be one good way to break could it up. Happen. You know what I mean? Yeah, it could happen, and it's somebody, and it's and it's a and it's a credible tag team. Somebody that you're like, you know what? That's cool. Yeah, like that's that that actually works. So I th- I think that would I think that would work. Uh, that, that's what I think is going to happen with them. Yeah, and then you by will the see... end of the year they're by the end of the year they're going to be tag team champions, uh, SmackDown tag team champions. So. And you could see like one faction holding the gold and the other faction holding the gold, which will be a pretty cool thing for whenever. Hey, later on down the road, if they have a match or something like that, like I think, the, like picture wise, it will look great. You know what I mean? Oh, the vi- the visuals, awesome. Yeah, the visuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whenever you have champion against champion, it always has more more gravity to it. I don't see him feuding with anybody else from the bloodline until later on. Uh, so, like, you know what I mean? So. Let's just leave it there because we're going to talk about somebody else from the bloodline later on. Um, yeah. All right, man. Moving on to the lowest point of the night, I feel. Shayna Baszler versus Liv Morgan for the Women's Champion. This was terrible. I understand what they did, but it was terrible. Uh, it seemed like they tried to give Liv some credibility to beating Shayna, but... We all know it's not credible, and if there's one thing that people always criticize about um, about AEW, it's like, oh yeah, the stuff is incredible. Oh, it doesn't look real or whatever it is. Guess what? This shit ain't real either. No. There's no way in the hell, no, Shayna, uh, uh, Liv can even compete with Shayna. I can understand maybe with a chair cheating. That that's why I thought she was gonna turn heel, because I was yeah. like, that's the only way she can beat her is by cheating. And how the hell are you going to, oh, yeah, she's doing these, she's trying to do all these submission moves, and it, it failed. Then she's like, oh, yeah, because I trained with Matt Riddle. Who gives a shit? Fuck. Is he Mr. Miyagi or something like that, where in one month, she's going to turn into a fucking Hoist Gracie or something? Like, you know, she's like, ah, like, that makes no sense, bro. Like, that makes absolutely no sense. So uh, um, that that's that's the one thing that really bothered me. Plus the fact, I mean, you really didn't do anything for Shayna. Because now she's no, you, you made her credible for like a week. And now she's back to the back of the bus. This this match was so. pointless. This they just put her in there just because they needed to have a title, another title match. They didn't need to because they could have literally just had the EST defending her title. But no, they wanted to have her in a six man tag. You know what I mean? Now. I don't know, man. I really don't want to talk too much about that that match because uh, to me it was it was terrible. I I didn't enjoy every single moment. To be a hundred percent honest with you, because I was working and I didn't get to watch everything live. I fast forward through that match. I only saw like clips here and there. And on top of that, the match wasn't even long. No, like it like it yeah. was not that long, bro. So it's like, come on. You actually did better not watching the whole thing than. Uh... Yeah, like, I was literally <laughs> skipping, like, 15 seconds. Okay, so, all right. And then I will watch, like, another 15 seconds. Like, you know what I mean? That was definitely the bathroom break. Yeah, 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 that poop break. The whole match. Yeah. All right, yeah, man, moving on to one of the most exciting, well, one of the, yeah, one of the most exciting parts that everybody was kind of shocked. We were not shocked because we said that it was going to happen. But Rey yeah. Mysterio and Edge versus The Judgment Day. Yeah. And well, first and foremost, Edge coming out in that mask. Bro, come on, man. He looked, I thought it was El, cool. El Generico. I thought it was El Generico. Come on. That's what I thought. I thought it was. I was like, why is he doing that? Why is he trying to be La Familia? Like uh, he would say. La He's trying to be Raza or something. Yeah, he was trying no, to be part it, of that, bro. It, no, I I think it was kind of kind of lame. I mean, it was honestly. to be honest with you. It was it was really lame. The dopest part about this match was because Edge was gassed the first five minutes of the match. Yeah, you know what I mean, and uh, the the best part definitely was the ending. I mean, quote unquote, yes, Rey Mysterio. The match wasn't bad though. The match wasn't bad. No, it no, wasn't... I know, I know. Like, but I, it it wasn't my favorite match. You know what I mean? Like, I think I will put the six women's tag match over this match. Like, old jokes aside, not me. I'll I'll still put this one over that one. But it's 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 like saying you know a five against a five point one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, make the, the switch them around doesn't really matter. The they, the they, ending they the ending was the part that made it good. Which is cool because it's storytelling. Yeah. That, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah. that mattered. The the match was just there to get to the ending. Bro, the fact uh, that Dominic Mysterio 
just did a horrible kick, a horrible low blow to Edge. The worst. Yeah. Ever. And then on top of that, that he betrayed, excuse me, he betrayed Rey Mysterio just like he be, like his father betrayed Rey that Mysterio. Cool. <laughs> that 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 actually kind of worked to a certain extent. I, I, like but... he literally closed him in the way, the same way that his father did. Eddie Guerrero, R.I.P. I would, I would do this. It, it was a decent clothesline. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, it, you have no to. Me carrito de nene. <laughs> like, damn, bro. Yo quería el Nintendo cuando era chiquito or something like that. It's like, this is, this is what happens whenever you get with a, a toxica. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, it was like, damn, bro. Damn, bro. But, Rhea um, Ripley got him pretty much. Let's put it yeah. like that. Even though the funny thing is, like, they all didn't walk out together, so we thought that they were going to join them, I and they know. didn't. So it's like... I think they kind of uh, left it in the air. Yeah, like, you going to join or what? So I, I don't know. It was inter- It was really good. Like, everybody was shocked. Literally, bro, Rey Mysterio has gotten betrayed by Eddie, Eddie with the clothesline, Batista with the clothesline, and then now his son. Quote unquote, with a close his, son, his son with a clothesline. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, bro. bro. Well, but but the thing, the, uh, oh, and then uh, Dominic trying to be tough at the end, bro. Like, I'm like, come on, bro. Like, he's soft. <laughs> he's soft. Yo, Fox, you're not wrong. No. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, but, but ne- next one, uh, real against Seth. Uh, did you get to watch that one? Because I know you, you told me you were kind of like... I offense. I can't talk too much about it because I didn't get to watch it. I only saw the entrance and then I had to deal with my kid and yeah. things like that. And I, I literally ran out of time. So I apologize, guys. But how we got you guys? Yeah, so the first thing is um, Matt Riddle. Bro, after they talk about your family like that, you're going to come down the damn ramp in a scooter, dressed up like, was it Patrick from Star from SpongeBob? I didn't what even see. Are you talking about bro, the colors? Dude, the colors? Yeah, the the colors. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the like, colors. I think it was Patrick, bro. Th- like he literally insulted him and his family Wait. less than a week ago, and he comes down the ramp in a scooter like nothing happened, uh, jumping up with his uh, fucking slippers going side to side with the fish and all that bullshit. <laughs> Bro, I would have been running. I would have been run, um, uh, getting in the in the in the, in how do you call it, in the dressing room or Bro. something. Or I would have been waiting for him in the ring. I would have been. It would have been like Jay Uso. I would have waited. I like would just mean mugging. Some just waiting. I want to whoop this guy. I'm going to kill him. I'm going to act. I'm going to. I'm going to legit kill this guy. Yeah. And he was like just prancing around in his fucking scooter. Bro. Bro, I saw that. That, that take that that. That really takes you away. What was the what was the purpose of the whole thing on Monday? Like you literally erased everything that happened on Monday with uh, with that stupid entrance. That's why I said like sometimes yeah, a lot of people are praising Triple H, and then I mean he kind of drops the ball sometimes on on little stuff that shouldn't be dropped. But yeah, I, I mean I got that a lot. I've seen it on Twitter, like a lot of that stuff. Like that was kind of like the biggest thing whenever they were talking about the match. So yeah, oh yeah, uh, and then uh, but uh, Seth, Seth Rollins, I saw his costume yeah. coming out, and I was like, "Damn, bro!" Like, you know what I mean? Like, I I, I got it. I got what he was trying to. Well, but that was cool, and it was also a tribute to uh, Elton John. Yep. Uh, and and also him being like some people were like, "Oh yeah, he didn't take it seriously." Well, because he wasn't. He was trying to mock um, uh, Riddle too, but Riddle coming out like that he should have been dressed like in his ufc clothes or something bro or something resembling that that I would have been that would have i worked. saw a uh it wasn't even a meme but somebody on twitter <laughs> post, posted uh whenever uh judgment day was laughing at dominic and dominic betraying Rey mysterio whenever they were laughing they put yeah. that and said uh Riddle's ex-wife and kids laughing at him, <laughs> and I lost it, bro. The disrespect, but yeah, man, this match, uh, from what I heard, it was great, but yeah, I didn't get to watch bad. it. Yeah, yeah, it's just like it wasn't bad, even though we're not rating matches or anything. But I rated like a good seven out of ten. 
Uh, so it, it, it was a it was a very it was very entertaining. Uh, like I said, the the only bad thing is that any any real life uh, any realism that it did have in the in the whole build up went away right when when uh, uh, when Riddle came in. Yeah, because I see because from what I heard, it was that Riddle was lost by all his emotions. Yeah. So yeah, and then Seth Rollins was able to pretty much take advantage of that. So then, what do you think is going to happen with them? Well, who Rollins or Rollins, Rollins and um, and Riddle? Do you think they're going to no. stick together for a little bit? No, or, and or are they going to separate them? I think I think they're going to have another match. Okay. At Extreme Rules, I'm predicting yeah. right now they're going to have another match with Extreme Rules. This is going to keep going, and then Riddle, eventually, I think he may either take a break or turn heel. Maybe Randy turns him heel, or maybe Randy turns against him, or I don't know because he because Randy him. Randy's still hurt, so we don't know. Have they said anything about him or not? Because I haven't seen anything. No, nothing at all. Seth Rollins, I don't know where he goes from there. Like if he if they don't have a match, like you know what I mean. Like let's say that they finish this feud, I don't know where the fuck he goes from there. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe Drew. Whatever. I don't know. It wouldn't make sense. Like it, it, like Seth Rollins is in a spot where it's like, I don't know where to put you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I, I thought about it and it's like, oh, you can have him fight with this guy. But then it's like, ah, oh, it doesn't and make that's, sense too much. See, and that's the one thing that I'm afraid of him that I hope they don't ruin him. I don't, I hope he doesn't turn into the next, um, Dolph Ziggler, which is like, oh, he's a great worker. So he can fight with anybody. Yeah. And then guess what? Three years down the line, he's a mid Carter. Yep. Trying to get running around for the twenty four seven title. Yeah, like I don't want him to go against Roman Reigns because I mean, not yet. Like it will be great, but then it's like we already know that you're gonna have him lose against Roman. You know what I mean? Or I mean, technically, last match didn't never finish, but so you can kind of do that. But it will be so so random. Yeah, I just beat Matt Riddle, and then I'm going for Roman. For a last man standing with them in Mania for the titles. That would be crazy. That would be great. Yeah, that would or be great. Or an Iron Man match, like a 16-minute yeah. Iron Man match. That would be definitely great.